Hello, I'm Oliver Tompkins. I'm a cheeky, chatty, excitable presenter, and I love creating the best car content. And it's always a bonus if I can get people to smile. Right, it's time to hear this Aventador roar. This exhaust is extreme. I want to see some flames. But why is that? I want to explore that today. In this video, expect to see passion. Some of it's stats. Yes, please. Cheeky look in the boot as well. Ferrari sleeping bag. The infotainment, a little bit dated. Now behind me, I have an Audi TT 2020. And I know it's behind me. I can't look at it because it brings back so many memories, so many raw emotions. Have you ever thought of not buying a German car? You don't want BMW. You don't want Audi. You don't want Mercedes. You still want a car with power, a bit of grunt. Oh, what? Oh, that's a great start. That's a bit of a spin. I'm all good though. I can smell the clutch. Oh, a bit bumpy. But it's all good. I'm still good. What's the time? What's the time? You got 108, didn't you? So I reckon yeah. oh, about 107. Just maybe beat you by a second. I was absolutely flying. You are in for a treat because we will be giving you the full VIP all access tour showing you some of its luxurious features. Oh, comfy bed with a massager. A list of all the celebrities that have ever stayed here is where That's right. And lastly, a secret celebrity story that's never been told. This room here had a little bit of a party. So just to explain to you some context of how fast this car is, in 2017, it held the record for the fastest SUV around the Nürburgring. And we're going to be comparing some of their features and stats. And then finishing up in a rolling race. Nice three on the M2, put in a little bit. To find out which car pulls away quickest. Statistics have shown that the optimum temperature to get maximum range that the manufacturers state, and even more, is 21.5 degrees Celsius. We all know you from Big Brother. Well, I say we all know you, some of you don't. You didn't come first, right? Let's get this out of the way first. Yeah. You didn't come for all seconds. I knew it. You can fit a blow up airbed in the back of an Audi e-tron. And you know what? It is surprisingly comfy too. We are in. Stop the timer. <laughs> so there you have it. You can even fit a kayak in an RS4. So all you kayak lovers out there, get your kayak in the boot and go down to your nearest river and you could just about get one in. Right, let's have a look at the distance between these cars. Wow, the Mark IV, a heavier car weighing in at 1,543 kilograms, still stops quicker than the Mark III. You see a lot of grill, don't you? A lot of grill. I feel like I should be in the middle with my Tesco's throwaway barbecue. And one more word. Good. Beautiful, do you know what? Beautiful, that has been the word of the day. Beautiful, thank you very much, sir. You can carry on with your evening. Beautiful. You can go out to the club, put one in your pocket maybe. I don't know, I'm not a smoker. It's a filthy habit. It is so roomy, it's spacious. I can do a roll, almost get a step class in here. To be fair, it's actually, it's not the comfiest of boots I've been in. Can you take the 850 camping? Yeah, you probably could. Ah, yes, but in this new M135, I've got the all-wheel X-Drive system and a limited slip differential in the front axle, and it's wet on this runway, so I think I have the upper hand. Ha-ha, over. 